Have you ever gazed at the endless expanse of the universe, feeling a tug on your soul that whispers of distant origins? Tonight, we delve into the extraordinary life of Dolores Cannon, a pioneer who unlocked the secrets hidden within our starlit dreams. Okay, let's begin. Dolores Cannon, a humble housewife turned groundbreaking hypnotherapist, wasn't searching for aliens. Yet, during her explorations of past life regression using her unique quantum healing hypnosis technique, QHHT, the universe had other plans. This technique, meticulously developed by Canon, wasn't your average hypnosis session. QHHT guided individuals into a profound theta state, bypassing conscious filters and tapping into a deeper wellspring of memories, often reaching beyond conventional notions of time and space. But what exactly is QHHT? Imagine a bridge connecting your conscious mind to a vast, timeless library holding your soul's experiences. In this state, clients recount vivid memories of lives on other planets, collaborations with galactic civilizations, and a deeper understanding of their connection to Earth. While skeptics might raise eyebrows, these experiences resonated deeply with many, offering solace and a broader perspective on the human condition. Cannon's work doesn't merely paint a picture of fantastical adventures. It delves into the profound impact these soul revelations have on healing. By revisiting past traumas and understanding karmic connections, individuals reported emotional and physical breakthroughs, finding forgiveness, releasing limiting beliefs, and even experiencing spontaneous recoveries from chronic illnesses. Cannon's work goes beyond just personal revelations. It sheds light on the larger cosmic drama unfolding on Earth. The recurring theme of alien observers suggests we're not alone in our evolutionary journey. These beings, often described as benevolent and advanced, are said to monitor our progress, offering subtle guidance and influence without violating the universal law of non-interference. This guidance takes fascinating forms, according to Canon's subjects. Many recounted pre-birth agreements, soul contracts made with specific missions in mind, these missions could involve fostering creativity, promoting peace, or safeguarding the environment. Intriguingly, some even reported past lives on other planets, volunteering to incarnate on Earth at a critical juncture to assist its ascension. Cannon also ventured into the controversial territory of abductions. In her research, these weren't terrifying experiences, but rather misunderstood acts of cosmic care. Subjects spoke of advanced medical procedures, genetic modifications, and even communication with higher dimensional beings. While the details might seem far-fetched, a common thread emerges. A deep respect for free will and an underlying desire to ensure humanity's survival and evolution. The concept of non-interference is crucial here. These cosmic entities, despite their advanced technology and wisdom, are bound by universal laws. They cannot directly intervene in our choices, respecting our free will to shape our destiny. However, Cannon's work suggests subtle interventions do occur, operating within the boundaries of this law. For example, some of her subjects recounted witnessing interventions at the DNA level, aimed at correcting mutations or accelerating our species' evolutionary potential. This aligns with the notion of guardianship roles, often described by various cosmic councils documented in Canon's research. These councils, composed of highly evolved beings from diverse star systems, are said to oversee the evolution of planets like Earth, offering guidance and protection without dictating our path. This brings us to Canon's groundbreaking theory of the three waves of volunteers. She postulated that, following World War II, a call went out across the cosmos, seeking assistance for Earth's troubled evolution. Three waves of volunteers responded. The first wave, these old souls arrived in the 1940s and 50s, often experiencing profound challenges adapting to Earth's density. They carried the weight of responsibility, paving the way for future waves. The second wave, arriving in the 1960s and 70s, these indigo children 
were more comfortable with their missions, known for their rebellious spirit and desire for social change. The Crystal Children Born from the 1980s onwards, these beings are said to carry a crystalline energy embodying peace, love, and empathy. They are seen as instrumental in ushering in the New Earth era. This theory resonates with the increasing number of individuals identifying as star seeds or possessing characteristics of these waves. They often feel a deep sense of purpose, a yearning for something beyond the ordinary, and a desire to contribute to positive change on Earth. Cannon's work, while controversial, offers a captivating lens through which to view our place in the cosmos. It paints a picture of a universe teeming with interconnectedness, benevolent intervention, and a silent struggle for humanity's ascension. Whether interpreted literally or metaphorically, her message inspires us to remember our potential, embrace our unique missions, and work towards a future where Earth aligns with its higher purpose, a testament to the enduring influence of the Three Waves of Volunteers. Delving deeper into humanity's past, Cannon explored the potential influence of extraterrestrial beings on ancient civilizations. Her research suggests encounters weren't limited to recent times, painting a picture of a long-standing connection between humanity and the cosmos. From the pyramids of Egypt and the enigmatic structures of Angkor Wat, to the advanced astronomical knowledge of the Mayans, Cannon highlights intriguing parallels that hint at extraterrestrial assistance. Legends and myths across cultures whisper of sky gods, flying chariots, and beings of immense wisdom, lending credence to the notion of ancient interactions. These interactions, according to Cannon, weren't just fleeting visits. They are said to have shaped our technologies, belief systems, and even our understanding of consciousness. From the development of mathematics and agriculture to the rise of spiritual traditions, Cannon finds echoes of extraterrestrial guidance woven into the fabric of human history. But why the shift in modes of interaction? Why the apparent move from direct contact to subtler influences? Here, Cannon points to the concept of planetary quarantine and the respect for free will. As humanity matured, direct intervention became less necessary, replaced by indirect nudges and inspiration. These subtle influences continue to this day, according to Cannon. She points to the phenomenon of simultaneous discoveries across different parts of the globe, suggesting a shared wellspring of knowledge accessible to attuned minds. From groundbreaking inventions to artistic masterpieces, Cannon suggests a cosmic intelligence subtly nudging humanity towards its potential. Dolores Cannon's exploration culminates in a philosophy rooted in universal love and interconnectedness. She describes the source, an all-encompassing energy from which all creation flows, including ourselves. We, as souls, embark on a journey from this source, experiencing countless lives on various planets, including Earth. This journey, according to Canon, is one of learning, growth, and ultimately, returning to the source with expanded consciousness. Earth, in this context, becomes a crucial classroom, a place where we confront challenges, embrace love, and evolve. And now, we stand at the precipice of a major shift. Canon predicted a big vibrational shift, a transformation in Earth's consciousness that will usher in a new era of peace, cooperation, and understanding. This shift, she believed, is already underway, fueled by the collective awakening of humanity and the continued subtle guidance from our cosmic companions. So, fellow space voyagers, where does this extraordinary journey take us? Is it a glimpse into another reality, a reimagining of history, or a spark of possibility? Dolores Cannon's legacy compels us to question, explore, and believe. Perhaps the truth lies not in the details, but in the feeling it ignites within us. A sense of belonging to something vaster, a responsibility to our planet, and the potential for collective ascension. Share your thoughts in the comments. If these cosmic whispers resonated with you, smash that like button 
and share this journey with others. And to continue exploring the mysteries of the universe, subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking explorations. Until next time, stay curious, stay connected, and may your own soul journey be filled with light and discovery.